Mayor Joe Hogsett taking a trip to summer camp today in an effort to reduce youth violence. He lectured a group of kids at the Young Men Incorporated Youth Empowerment Camp. 24 Hour News aides Tim McNicholas tagged along for the visit. Tim, this was a timely visit for the mayor. Yeah, Dave, this is a summer camp that aims to keep kids away from crime. Hogsett says on average the people involved in gun violence in the city are getting younger. How many of you want to ask the the mayor a question. This is what curiosity looks like. Okay, how about somebody in the back, right back in the back? These kids asked Joe Hogg said how long he's been mayor, what his last job was, what he'll do next. And before Hogg said left the Great Commission Church of God, he asked a question. How many of you in this room are tired of reading about gun violence? The young men of this youth empowerment camp did not hesitate to show their answer. I have no doubt some of you have probably experienced friends or loved ones or people that you know who have been victimized by gun violence. Just last week, IMPD arrested an 18-year-old for shooting two people and a 19-year-old for shooting and killing a woman. Police say last May, at this West Side Taco Bell, a 14 and 15-year-old stuck a gun in an IndyCar driver's face to steal a wallet. We have younger people who are obtaining uh, weapons without any legal uh, authority to do so uh, and using it to resolve disputes. Reverend Malachi Walker says his camp teaches kids respect. When the kids aren't chatting with city leaders, they're visiting local parks and cleaning up the neighborhood. It's taught me to be a man, to be in leadership, how to be successful, legally successful. That's a very good question. Thank you for asking. After the mayor satisfied their curiosity, he left these kids with a request. You need to help me keep you, your, your brothers, your sisters, your, your family as safe as possible. IMPD says they recorded 72 murders by June 25th this year. They would recorded 73 on that same date last year. 2016 ended as the deadliest year in Indianapolis history with 149 murders. When it comes to non-fatal shootings, 187 by June 25th this year, 238 on that same date last year. Tim, does the mayor have any idea what's behind the difference in the non-fatal shooting? Well, he says they made a few changes. He said that IMBD has added dozens of officers. He hopes to do that again uh, next year and the year after that. And he says officers are also focused now on beat-oriented, community-oriented policing, and he thinks it's making a difference. All right. Tim will continue to follow that story. Thanks.